Hello, welcome to the demonstration session of uh, uh, synthesis of iron oxide nanoparticles by precipitation method. Myself, Dr. Kiran Kumar P, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, ATME College of Engineering, Mysore. Precipitation method is uh, among the chemical route. The chemical precipitation method is considered to be a one of the simplest technique. The method is uh, given more priority due to its low cost, easy industrialization with improved reproducibility. This method offers low temperature growth and scale up fabrication which yields colloidal solution with wide range of particle distributions. The precipitation method uh, is a method where commonly a metal oxide nanoparticles are synthesized by this method. So, let us see the principle of the precipitation method for the iron 3 nanoparticles. Co-precipitation method is a convenient way to synthesize iron oxide nanoparticles that is Fe3O4. It is synthesized by Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus salt solution by addition of base at room temperature or at elevated temperature. The chemicals required for the synthesis are FeSO4 of 0.2 molar, FeCl3 of 0.1 molar, deionized water and a base ammonia of 3 molar. The procedure is FeSO4 of 0.2 molar and FeCl3 of 0.1 molar are dissolved in deionized water. They are dissolved in deionized water. Further, ammonia of 3 molar is added drop wise in a magnetic stirrer. The solution is placed in a magnetic stirrer. Ammonia is added. The uh, magnetic uh, the the RPM is adjusted for thousand RPM. The resultant solution will be a black precipitate. The product is Fe3O4. It is transferred to hot air oven, where about one hundred and fifty to two hundred degrees maintained for two hours of drying we get Fe3O4. The obtained product is of magnetical property. It has a magnetic property. You can see the Fe3O4 that has a magnetic property in it. Let us have a video demonstration for the synthesis of the same iron 3 oxide nanoparticles. The chemicals required are ferrous sulphate, ferric chloride and ammonia solution. about 0.4 grams of ferrous sulphate solution and about 1.4 gram of ferric chloride solution is transferred into 50 ml water. We add 50 ml of deionized water to the salt. Fifty ml of deionized water is added. Further, it is placed in a magnetic stirrer, and the RPM level is adjusted to up to thousand RPM. With constant stirring, ammonia of three molar is added drop wise. till the pH level is reached to 10. You can see the black precipitate is obtained and we keep on adding ammonia drop wise till the pH range is about 10. 
can see the pH now is 10. Now the resultant solution the black precipitate is now filtered using a Wachmann filter paper. It is filtered by multiple washing with deionized water. The filtrate is transferred to hot air oven maintained at 150 to 200 degree centigrade for 2 hours. You can see the prepared product of Fe3O4 nanoparticles. It has a magnetic property in it. Let us check with a magnet. You can see here it is attracted by the magnet. So, it is of Fe3O4 iron having plus 3 oxidation state in it. Further, in order to know or in order to verify whether uh, the prepared particles are of nanoparticles, we go for the characterization technique. In the characterization technique, initially for the existence of nanoparticles, it is proved with the help of UV visible spectroscopy. So, we carry out UV visible spectroscopy for the product. Further, to know more about the morphology, surface and the size of nanoparticles, we carry out TEM image, SEM image scanning electron microscope and XRD X-ray diffraction studies and dynamic light scattering studies to analy analyze the morphology and size of the synthesized nanoparticles. So, this is a reaction involved. We have FeSO4, FeCl3, right? FeCl3 and FeSO4. Ammonia is added with constant stirring at 1000 rpm, we get a black precipitate of Fe3O4. Hence, the method is the precipitation method. We get a black precipitate. Thank you.